All right, everyone, beloved brothers and sisters, it is March the 2nd, 2016. I'm trying out something brand new. I'm trying out a brand new camcorder that was a gift to this ministry from a precious sister, YouTuber, Lisa Peterson Tesh. Lisa, this is the camera that you sent. So I'm trying it out for the very first time. I'm going to do a quick little video. And later, since you have a cam camera similar to this one, I'll see if I can do a video and um, show all the ins and outs and of how it works and all of that good stuff. This is very different. I'm standing up, so I can't really stop and start again. I'm trying to learn the camera myself. I'm going to touch on one thing real quick, the difference between various ministries. I want to talk about first the ministry to where you go out and you preach the gospel, street preachers. It's a big difference from uh, a homeless outreach ministry. And we do both with our ministry at Trumpet of God Ministries. To be a street preacher doesn't take a whole lot, just, a, just your time, and make signs and you go out and you preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. You preach on the street. And a little bit of advice. It doesn't really, there's no real cost involved. But you want to be careful. You don't want to be overbearing. You don't want to hit someone over the head with the King James Bible. You want to preach the good news of salvation through Jesus Christ and that there is no other way, that Jesus is the only way to heaven. you got to be very careful with the laws in various states and communities. Um, I do not recommend a bullhorn. A lot of people go out with a bullhorn. Now they can issue, a, issue you a citation, uh, a noise ordinance uh, violation. You don't have to be that loud. You can speak loud. And be careful where you are, your location, that you're not blocking an entrance of a business. Uh, kind of pick your location very carefully. And again, you don't have to be overbearing. Just a little bit of advice. Now, a homeless outreach ministry is totally, totally different. Here, you're not so much standing on the corner preaching the gospel, the good news of salvation. You are, but here you are reaching the people that are living on the streets, the homeless, who are desperate and are destitute, living in poverty, living under bridges and living in tents and abandoned buildings. You want to not only bring them the gospel of salvation, the gospel of Jesus Christ, you want to bring them food and essentials, whatever they need, warm clothing, blankets, scarves, hats, gloves, jackets. You want to make sure you can get them to a doctor's appointment. You want to make sure you can get them to the VA, to the social service and social security offices. Uh, the Secretary of State, so many of them don't even have an ID. There is a big difference. To be a street, street preacher, there's really no cost involved, just your time. A homeless outreach ministry, there's a great deal involved and a lot of people need to come together for that type of ministry. Um, it is very, very difficult. The most difficult part is coming home at the end of the day. That's the hardest part. Because when you unwind and you come into your warm house and you look in the refrigerator and there's food or something's cooking on the stove for dinner, you think of those that you try to reach and you try to help. And it breaks your heart. And when you finally unwind for the night, you lay your head on that pillow, remembering that Jesus was homeless and he had no place to lay his head. Here you are, fortunate enough to lay your head on your pillow. When you close your eyes, you can't get the images out of your mind of the people that you had to leave behind. I love you, Lisa. I love you so much. Thank you. We needed this. I have the camera set on the tripod. I used to get some uh, duct tape and rig my cell phone up uh, to use when we go out in the fields, when we go out on the street. This is just a wonderful, wonderful blessing.
I love you all. Just a test video. God bless.